key points to young Alex, who's ready, knows it's time to fucking hit the bum. Graham, yes. have you ever taken cocaine? <laughs> Probably, yes. <laughs> Probably. Probably. Yeah. Dude, let me show you how it's done. Cherry, have you ever taken cocaine? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there you go. That's how it's done. <laughs> That's fine. I've tried it. <laughs> I, I bought. Uh, uh, how, how much is in a bag? I don't. I don't you I get a gram. Like you get a gram usually. A gram. Yeah, it's very more. Or I bought a bag many years ago. It, Took yeah. it in the house. Didn't like it. Didn't care for it. I prefer dirty speed. Yeah. Well, with speed, you're just having it. Dirty speed was much better. You're off for the night, aren't you? You put it in a little bomb, done, and then you don't well, think you, about you it. You didn't get that weird drip. Yeah, you're not there going, oh, oh there's snot and I can feel it. But I understand people do enjoy the cocaine. 100%, mate, yes. You know, because it makes people sweaty, paranoid, and tall shit, which is always attractive in a human being. Um, a fun little story caught my eye Yeah. about cocaine. Uh, and it's about old people. I don't mean that OK Boomer meme shit. That's bollocks. OK Boomer. <laughs> people keep saying that to me. It's like, OK, I get it. <laughs> I know. Um, this is about proper old people. Old people that don't give a fuck. See, the NHS, uh, NHS did some analysis, and it's showing an alarming rise in the number of people, 90-plus, being admitted to hospital following a cocaine binge. Not just, oh, let's, let's give Grandad a line. No, we're talking fucking having a good night on the Charlie, you know? Um, that's right, more of our old folks, they're not, they're not settling for slacks with elasticated waistbands anymore and waiting patiently for the uh, loving embrace of the Grim Reaper. Now they're getting fucked up on coke and having a right time of it. The figures are equally impressive for the over 60s. It's fantastic. Old people fucking love drugs. They think they're fucking great. <laughs> That's superb. We see, I'm, I think this is perfect. These people have probably worked all their lives, provided for their families, paid the taxes, maybe even fought in wars. And what's the reward? An old people's home where some underpaid young girl ignores you while you're sat in a chair that's covered in piss. You know? Fuck that. Fuck that all to hell. If you're old, like really old, and our demographic, I've got to be fair, indicates that not a great many of the over 60s watch this show, apart from Happy Dog. <laughs> Probably because they're all off the tits on coke. Can't sit down and watch the internet when you're on the coke. You know? Here's the thing, though, old people. You do whatever the fuck you like. If you've made it to 90 years old and you want to hammer some fucking coke, chat shit until the early hours, you, you fucking get it done. You get that down, you. You fucking live it. You want to smoke so much skunk that you can't even be asked reaching for the remote control to change the channel when the remote is there. But it's like... I just can't. I'm very dry. Do it. Get it fucking done. Take some E and shuffle around the place to some fucking Glenn Miller or the Prodigy. You know, just just fucking take whatever you can get your arthritic hands on and fucking live the last few years of your life in a complete fucking drug haze because you've earned it. You've done your bit. You don't have to wait quietly for death. See how your twilight years having as much fun as humanly fucking possible. Off your tits and out of your fucking gourd, chewing your own gums and being a royal pain in the ass to everyone around you. Old people on drugs, we salute you. <laughs>